uh, so they're fixing to get started here onto the homestead of jigging this well here and putting on a side pump, a hand pump. If you know anything about the East Coast, we have a lot of hurricanes, so water is life here. This is Mike from Sage Drilling and Pump Service. I'm going to ask him a couple questions. If you have any questions or comments, please leave the questions and comments below. and We'll get back with you just as soon as possible. So when we look at this well, how deep are we drilling today? Today, our final depth will be about 100 feet on this particular well, and we are installing a 4-inch diameter PVC casing, and it will be a screened well because of the formation in which we're targeting, which is the PD aquifer, is a sandy-based rock, so we will have 10-slot screens at the bottom of the well with a gravel pack filter. So it was involved in setting up a well for long term, if we're looking for long term. Well, there's many different ways to drill a well, install a well. I work with homeowners all the time who have installed their own wells, or I've installed wells by hand, shallow wells. Um, you see a lot of people um, see things you can buy at Lowe's and things like that, the well points that are driven. Um, just galvanized screens that are driven into the ground 10 or 15 feet. Depending on what your material is and the water level, those can work, but normally will not work for a high volume and usually will not last something that's going to be dependable for multiple, you know, years and years and years down the road. So the deeper you can go in getting into a consolidated formation, an aquifer that is not going to dry up or even if you're not into a consolidated rock formation, a what's called surficial aquifer is a sand, water-bearing sand material. As long as you're in a good material and the well is built properly, usually meaning gravel packed around your screens to keep the fine sand from clogging up your well point, that is the number one thing in the construction that's going to keep the well lasting as long as possible. Wow, that's very informational. Okay, so. What happens when you get to that bedrock? So, so y'all, as you see, having the experience is a must. So if you're considering just going out there, digging you a little, you know, in the ground and having your well, it might not work. You might want to give this guy a call. So, and also, don't forget, this is not just a drilling a, a, a well and putting a, a tank on a pump, electrical pump on there. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. And then where he's putting also a hand pump. So off grid, on grid, no power, it's on. Yep, we're going to have a submersible pump, one horsepower, 25 gallon per minute Franklin Electric pump. And we're going to also rig up a Simmons pitcher pump on top where she will have the option to isolate if the power is off and be able to hopefully pull water with the hand pump. And granted, hand pumps will only work with the water level shallower than 25 feet. So it all depends on where you are, what your water level is in the ground, it has to do with a hand pump, um, just like a shallow well jet pump. So three main pumps on the market, you can look into that information depending on what you're trying to do with your volume output and where it is that you're constructing your well and water levels. There's a whole lot of information when it comes to that and that's why talking to a professional, a Absolutely. pump installer and well installer, they're going to guide you in the direction you need. And the key word here is professional. So guys, we're getting ready to get this done. All right, Thank thanks. You so much.
Oh man, that hurt real bad. Stop that. how the water comes in through the well. This Say that is, again. This is how the water is going to come in from the aquifer through the well. It's one one thousandth of an inch 
slits all the way up this 40 foot of pipe. It's gonna hold back the sediment and only let the good water through. Well, that's going to be about the bottom of where we're going to set this well. So we decided to take 40 foot of formation. So we're going to set 40 foot of screens. And this is 110 feet right here. This is where we are now. So we've got to just condition the hole, get it cleaned out. You see all the fine sands are starting to settle out. We thinned down our mud, so now our, our sand will fall and settle. So we've got to thin it down, get it cleaned out, so we can set the screens in it. You can't have your drilling mud thick in your hole, in your well, and put screens inside of that. It will blank out the screens, I meaning it will plug up against the outside and it won't make any water. And then you can ruin the well completely or you have to fight it to break it free and there's a lot of tricks of the trade when that happens so but you don't want it to happen if possible so you always have to thin down but you have to make sure that your hole will stay open as well so you have to drill it with your muds the way they need to be as far as viscosity goes and then we want to keep a head pressure on the hole which you'll see when we pull these rods after we cut off the pump we'll keep the hole full of water so that weight of that water is a head pressure pushing down and that water weight will hold the walls open if you have a deep water level and you don't keep it full and keep a head of water on it you'll lose that much static you know hydraulic pressure pushing outward and the wall and you can lose some of the borehole before you get the screen down to the total depth. Is we all sand now? Yeah. And I had that little bit of rock and there's kind of some I bit I didn't net for that 10 foot we just drilled, but it's mainly now sand. At first it was mostly rock, but now it's turned into pretty much all sand, even though it's all sandstone. So all this, we have a borehole down evidently through this and once we set the screens and we develop it, this sand will lock in around those screens. And that's what developing the well will do.
what's happening now? So now that we, we flushed our hole, so the rest of the, all that sand settled out from the borehole that we cut. Now we're going to pull our rods out, trip the tools, which pull rods, and then we will put the screen in and push it down to where we want it. And what you saw Connor putting together a little while ago on the end of that two inch pipe is a four by two tri seal. The black object on the left there. So we'll have 40 foot of 10 slot screens and we'll have a, a 15 foot section of riser to get my seal where I want. This will be inside of the four inch down towards the bottom and all your measurements have to be right because if they're not and your bowl hole is deeper than what you think or you don't have enough, me your measurements are wrong when you set and this comes out of the bottom of that four inch the well is ruined at that point and it'd be very hard to get back onto it to connect back to it to pull it back up into the four inch so i like to have at least five foot inside of the bottom of the four inch so on this particular one we're shooting for the seal to be set at 55 feet we're 110 foot deep right now so our screens will be from 70 to 110 and then from 70 up to 55 feet to the seal. So this is a 15 foot piece there. Uh, and that's because the formation. Yeah, these are number 10 screens. So 10 thousandths of an inch slots. They make 20 number uh, 20 slot screens those are a little too big especially if you're not filter or gravel packing the well yourself if we drilled this down the five and seven eighths diameter bit if we drilled all the way down to where we are now at 110 feet we could have drilled down pulled out and set screens and casing four inch diameter if we wanted all the way to the bottom and then pour filter sand gravel pack around down the well and we'll settle around these screens okay and build a well like that which is a quicker procedure we got a big chopper coming two of them the USA Amen. so drilling a hole just like a shallow well 50 foot deep in the sand pull out you just drop the screen and the casing all together and then you pour filter sand around it we could have done that here the problem is we would have gotten that the two aquifers are so close here that we would have got the water from the upper aquifer mixing with the water from the, the deeper aquifer so the limestone and sandstone so that's why we set four inch and grouted it in place uh, last night, yesterday, and we're drilling out and we're shooting screens is method we call it in the field, shooting screens out of the bottom of the casing into our formation and let it naturally gravel pack. Now, there's all kinds of different ways to build wells and as you'll see through this journey here, we went over a, a lot of different procedures just to install this one little well. And it's only 110 feet so I know some of the guys out there have it a whole lot worse than me you know three five six eight hundred foot wells just to get water so over here we're we're pretty lucky to be usually within 300 feet depending on where you are and where we're located right now today evidently 110 feet for the the deeper of the two aquifers so we have it pretty good as far as depth wise so we have other complications to deal with, but that's drilling.
as you, as you see there, Tammy, we're pulling 10 footers to put back on the truck once we won't be using anymore. And we're gonna be leaving the bottom 60 foot of rods in 20 foot lengths. So we'll have three 20 foot lengths of rod out on the ground and we will use that. We have to go back down. Once we set the screen in, we have to push that seal and that length of screen that I showed you down with these drill rods and we leave them sitting on top of that screen and that seal as we start to develop the well with the air lift procedure like we tried testing the well earlier with. So we leave them on there so the screen doesn't come shooting back up the hole if we sent you know, a large volume of air down there and we don't want the screens to blow and lift. So we'll use that to hold them down into place as we develop it, as we develop it, the natural sand will cave in and set around our screens, which is what we want. Then they'll be locked in place and that'll be the final stage of building the well. And you'll put the water and everything is right. We'll be flowing out and we'll get crystal clear. I mean, we'll be able to pretty much drink it right out of the ground. I do anyways, but most people, we, you know, you want to chlorinate.
Singing, I'm humming. Right? I think you're humming. What? Well, no, you started singing. Right? Yeah, uh, take can't. me away. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast, Jakey? What's that? Did you have for breakfast? I didn't have breakfast. I woke up, took a piss, and hey, exactly. Hey. Uh oh. <laughs> you have to cut Ladies, that out. Ladies, oh. I don't know. We have to, I have to somehow figure that out. Oh, man. Look. I'll, I'll get it. I'll just uh, have to. That's gonna be a tricky one. <laughs> oh. a music here for that part. Do you realize the stuff that's on the internet today? <laughs> like on the TVs today? A little breeze feels good. Don't you take me away? You wouldn't know it's 10 days from Christmas, 80 degrees out. I like to use the purple primer and the blue wet weld. They say you can put this on wet PVC pipe and it'll cure even in the water or wet. If needed, it does not apply as good as if it's wet. No, it'll clump up. And see, this is what I was talking about, keeping a head pressure on the hole so we get the screen set, keeping it full of water. And this seal here is just rubber. I like to put a little bit of petroleum jelly, Vaseline here on it just to I'm here to slide through the PVC, but cause a little less friction on it. Don't want it to tear on the lit on the joints of the pipe or anything like that. most important part without this seal produce pump sand so it's very critical when doing when building a well like this just take extra caution with, and take your time like I said all your measurements have to be spot on She 
goes. Hopefully never be seen again. right here now we gotta push it down with the rods let's uh, get this tape cut off of this bit <laughs> enough screen in formation to make adequate volume. Uh, 30 foot of screen in this formation will do what we want as far as volume, but we got 40 foot here. So now it is set in place. We'll lift up off of it about a foot. Then we will start the development process by blowing air through our drill rods. Get this 